Matt Lancer, voice of Anakin Skywalker here. You're watching the Super Awesome Geek Show. Hey, hey! <laughs> hey, hey, guys! John here, and welcome back to the Super Awesome Geek Show. Today we're taking a look at the blurg from The Mandalorian. And yes, Amazon crushed my box. <laughs> Folded the top. They completely crushed it. It's like punctured right through to the other side. Because it was in a bag! Who ships boxes in a bag? Come on, Amazon. But yeah, here's the back of the box. The Blurg from The Mandalorian. Vintage collection. When you pull it out of the box, this is what you get. It's all nicely tucked away inside there. But the back of the packaging for the vintage collection figure is just exposed to be scratched up. But it was fine. It's not that bad, actually. It survived being crushed by Amazon packaging. So here's the front of the box packaging for the Mandalorian. Pretty good looking figure. Nice packaging. I like this a lot. I like the picture on it. It's pretty cool. And here's the back. VC number 335. It's hard to believe there's 335 action figures in the vintage collection already. Wow. Well, not already. I mean, it's been going for years. Well, here he is. You got the Blurg himself. We've got his his body, his two legs, his arm, and a reins with a bit. Goes in his mouth like that. You know. So all the parts are there. I don't have my tripod with me today, so we're going to have to do this one-handed. We have the arm that pops right in that socket. The arm only has one area of articulation, and that's up by the head joint, the body joint. No elbows or hand joints. The legs pop right on. They're on kind of like a swivel ball joint. They're pretty cool. They move in and out, as well as all around. And they have a knee joint and a foot joint on each leg, so it's pretty cool. The mouth has a joint, which opens and closes. The bit goes right in the mouth, like that. And the reins go up over the top of the head. And there's a little strap to go under the lower jaw. So he looks like that. And he's got a tail joint. Just moves up and down side to side. Pretty cool. This is a nice looking figure. I like him. It really reminds me of like vintage stuff. But more articulated. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I think it'll look good next to your do back. You know? Yeah. An alternate thing to ride on. Good detail in the face and jaw, mouth. The straps all look pretty good. I like his eyes. Paint job's pretty nice. Not bad. The saddle and the reins, right? Yeah, the saddle and the reins and the strap and everything. They all look pretty good. They've got sufficient detailing in them. It's not bad. His teeth are all over the place. Look at that tongue. Nah. I'm a Blurg. Nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Blurgs talk. I don't know if you knew that. No, they don't. They don't. They don't talk. No, they don't. Rrr. I'm a Blurg. <laughs> So uh, I'm not going to open this Mandalorian figure. I'm going to leave him in this packaging. I like the packaging the way it is, you know, so I'm going to leave it there. Maybe if I get a second one down the road. If this goes on discount, I'll get a second one. Uh, this, um, so I brought out this figure. I brought out this other guy to put on. And I don't think they fit all that well riding the Blurg. I think the Blurg is just a bit wide. <clears throat> For the figures, so it doesn't really, um, you really have to spread the guy's legs out to make him ride on it. From the side, it doesn't look bad, I guess. If you do them from the side like this, it's not too bad. But if we put him on top, from the front, he looks a little off, like it's not, it's just not right. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think of this? Does it does it work for you? I, I don't know. It's not working for me, but 
Maybe it, maybe I'm just weird. I don't know. To me, it just doesn't seem to fit. He, he, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Let me know. It just doesn't seem... It seems too big. He can't... He can't straddle this thing. Yeah. But then I noticed on the box, they don't actually show him riding on the uh, Blurg. I was looking around for this. I was like, wait a minute. Most of the pictures, he's all just like not on the Blurg. So maybe they didn't intend for you to actually put the figure on the Blurg. But then when we go to this side, I did see there he is on the Blurg. But it is from the side. And so they don't show it from the front. They don't show what that other leg is doing. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe they didn't intend for him to actually ride the Blurg. So I might just stand him up like this. Like they like they have on the box. So what do you guys think? What do you think? You know? Good looking figure. Would you get this one? What do you think of the Amazon misfire? The fail? The packing fail? Yeah. I tried to... I asked him if I could uh, get a new one in the... They, you have to go through this whole process of returning this. and So then I just decided to open it and say, screw it. If it goes on sale, I'll just buy a second one. But I don't know, whatever. I'll just leave them open. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm John. I'm out of here. See ya. I am John, Whoopi impersonator and a Ladrin warlock with the Warriors of the Stars. Along came Jason, my bearded friend. Fabulous secret ideas revealed to me the day he came to my house and said, I want to make a podcast! Only two others share this secret. I am Chris Visions. I like walks on the beach, sunsets, poodles. What's up, everybody? Morphin' time. Hi, I'm Rick Remender. Rob. Artists. Hey everybody, how are you doing? Hi, hey, I'm Christopher Sabella. Hi, this is Ashley Eckstein, voice of Ahsoka Tano. Robbie Amell! What's up, guys? Today I have special guest Mike Selinker. You do indeed. We're working on Black Science. Bob McLeod, creator of the New Mutants. I've been working for Marvel and DC Comics for the last 40 years. Brian Herbert. About a year ago, I have got a, a, a Twitter site. I couldn't get my own name. Somebody took my name. <laughs> And we have special guest, Gus Lopez. Oh, hey guys, I'm thrilled to be on. Robin Hobb is here! Working on a trilogy called The Fits and the Fool. Livio Raimondelli. Appreciate it. I'm, I'm a big Transformers fan, G1 fan myself. Together we started talking about toys, comics, games, and movies on the Super Awesome Geek Show! Yeah.